Okay, today we're gonna to be showing you how to put a spindle back on a skag lawnmower. This one had just a little bit of play in it, but not very bad, but it was making a little bit of noise. So we replaced this spindle and I've already put it on here because a lot of videos shows you how to take one off, but not many shows you how to put it back on. So here's the old one and here's the new one that I just put on here. And I also replaced this pulley that had a bad spot in it also. And the new pulleys are solid instead of a cast spoke like this. So here we go here, we got this pulley on. You might wanna get something to put under your knees to, cause your knees will get to hurting if you put them down on something hard very long. The important thing that you wanna do when you're replacing these pulleys is measure all of the pulleys and get them the same height off of your deck to help your belt run straight and your belt will last longer and stay on. Then I put some never sees on these shafts and my bolts when I put stuff back together. That way when I have to replace it again later, it'll come off a little bit easier. Okay, we've got this one down here. Now we're ready to start tightening up the tapered collar that will tighten up the pulley on here. Okay, we're tightening our tapered collar up on our pulley here, which will hold the pulley tight on the key on the shaft. And you wanna try to tighten each one of these bolts evenly. So you turn two or three turns on one and then turn two or three turns on the other. And keep in mind while you're doing this, you wanna keep checking the distance of the pulley off of the deck. When you tighten one down, it'll get tight, and then the other one will be loose. So you have to tighten, that's why you just keep going back and forth, just tighten them a little bit at a time. While you've got your blades off to replace the spindle, that's a good time to touch them up, see if they're sharp, and you might want to touch them up just a little bit with the grinder while you have them off. It's getting pretty close to the pulley so you know you don't have far to go then. Because you can look at your other taper locks on the other pulleys over here and see how close they are before they got tight and that one's getting tight and this one I can tell it's tightening up. <laughs> 